What's going on my friends? This is Dustin Stelzer, Electrician U. Uh, this video, I got to go up to my parents' house up in Minnesota because they were doing a remodel and they needed some help with the electrical. So I got a call from the folks. Uh, They're in the middle of a kitchen remodel, so they completely ripped through their entire kitchen. They took out an old bathroom and uh, turned the, the whole kitchen into a much larger kitchen. They wanted to put an island in and everything. So uh, my old man's been doing you know, handyman kind of stuff his entire life. So uh, he's just doing everything himself. Where they're having the cabinets built by my uncle. My whole family is like construction folks. But once my dad got everything open, started removing, you know, walls, taking drywall off, he realized like, holy crap, this is a 120 year old house. Um, so there's eras of wiring and he didn't know what went where. And so instead of like trying to do this over the phone through FaceTime, <laughs> I was like, bro, why don't I just fly up there and, and help you and just do it all in like a day and figure it all out. So that's what I did. So when I got there, the first thing that I noticed there was wires everywhere. Um, pretty common for a remodel, really. At least, you know, he left all of the devices and everything where they were. They're still living in this house, so um, they still needed switches and everything, receptacles to work. So uh, the two main problems, the two, you know, big things that needed to be solved were uh, right at the front door, they had a whole bunch of switches. I think they had like four to six different switches controlling a bunch of different things. There was like one leg that went out to the garage and it was on a three-way, but it was really wired in a weird way that we couldn't trace. Um, and then there was some receptacles on the other side. So there was a half wall that got removed on the uh, opposite side of the kitchen. So like a you know, two foot wall essentially. Um, so there's a whole bunch of wires hanging down there. So we had to figure out how to reroute them. This is a four story house, basement, three stories. Um, and so everything that's run is run like in between floors. So we were trying to just minimize the amount of drywall that we had to remove. So we just didn't have to do a whole bunch of extra work. Um, so the biggest challenge were, was just trying to figure out where all these conductors went. And if I cut them, could I like reroute them to somewhere to kind of like hide a joint in a can or, you know, do whatever we could because we didn't want to just completely try to rip out conductors and then rerun them and cut a whole bunch of drywall. So none of this is really all that difficult. It's just that these two projects are kind of, uh, a pain in the butt of like trying to figure out how we can rerun things and figure out where they go to begin with. I don't see anything going that way either. I wonder if there is a plug outside maybe. Mm, let's see, no, that's where our meter is though. But I don't see anything out here that there would be a plug for. As I started uh, opening everything up, I wanted to label everything that I was finding. So that's the first thing that I do in a remodel is start labeling everything that I do know, start trying to take the things out that are unnecessary that I can guarantee that I know what they are. Um, and that way, the things that I don't know, I can kind of leave that till the end and I can start um, tracing things individually. So anytime you get into a remodel and you got wires hanging out everywhere, it can be kind of stressful looking at the whole thing as a whole. So you kind of have to just dive into one thing and try to find all your knowns first. That way it minimizes the unknowns and you can go through and find them individually. So the first thing that I did is I started at the switches. I started taking all of that stuff apart, figuring out where each leg went and my method of doing it is I kept everything live and that way I had a live conductor. So when I actually touched my legs, um, I could see actual individual lights turning on. Now I, I'm a master electrician, I have experience, I'm okay working on this live and using this as a testing method. Um, if you don't have experience, obviously don't be working live, like always take, uh, do whatever you can to like minimize risk as much as possible, go turn things off and turn things on when you need them. But let's all be honest, in remodels, you're constantly going and turning things on, turning them off, turning them on, trying to figure out what things are. So it's a pretty common practice um, to be able to turn things live, test a few things, go turn things off. Then once I got everything at the switch locations figured out. There were a couple of travelers that I couldn't figure out. So I went down in the basement and their basement has a grid ceiling. This is the craziest thing. Um, I guess just old houses, they used to do this. They put grid ceilings in the basements. And then when you pop one of those tiles open, 
there's there is nothing but craziness from years and years of people just kind of like putting random stuff in there. And I found conductors that were just coiled up, stripped out, left on top of the grid live. Uh, so there was a whole bunch of craziness that I found, but trying to trace these travelers, it was like they took this route to go all the way around the house, above other ceilings, through walls, and then outside to get out to the garage for this three-way. So I spent a little bit of time just like scratching my head on where things went. Uh, but overall, I pretty much got all of it figured out in, in a very quick amount of time. The problem then was some of the conductors were not long enough to really do anything with, and we didn't want to start cutting through the ceiling, my dad was trying to save as much of the drywall as possible so just so he didn't have to spend all that time redoing it. Plus all of the can lights were already cut in and everything. So just cutting more would have been even more of a pain in the butt. Um, so I was like, all right, well your options are, since I can't really get to any of these recessed cans to be able to fish a conductor up there to make joints in one of the cans, we're just gonna have to put a junction box somewhere weird. It was either put a junction box somewhere weird and just put a blank plate on it and you'll, you know, you'll see it. We can cover it up with a smoke detector or we could put a clock over it or something like that. But it's like, it's either that or we take the rest of the ceiling down or you know cut like a huge patch, which means that eventually he's going to have to take the rest of the ceiling down and redo it all. So they were just like, nah, let's just put some junction boxes above the doors, doesn't really matter. So once I got all of the switches licked and I re-ran all of the wires and kind of um, made as much of it work as possible, I got that side done. Then I moved over to the opposite side where we had that half wall with all the conductors hanging out of it. So same thing, um, I had to figure out what was what. I knew right below this wall there was a panel, an old Cutler Hammer panel. Um, but there was a, a few of these conductors that were coming up that were travelers that either went from one level to another level or they were home runs that were feeding the kitchen or they were feeding rooms upstairs. And I know they were feeding rooms upstairs because my mom was on a Zoom call working and I kept disconnecting stuff and then I would hear her be like, what is that? <laughs> And so I would just completely cut off of her lights. I'm like, sorry, mom. Uh, so I figured out what was what um, by shutting my mom's ability to work off. We cut the power off. Oh no, Charlie. You can't cut the power off. We got Zoom calls to be on. <laughs> Come on, baby. Uh, you gonna be my little electricity puppy? But I figured out that ma the majority of the conductors that were going up there were home runs that were feeding either the kitchen or they were feeding the next, um, the next level, the next story of the house. Um, there were a couple that were just like receptacles. There was a traveler that I think went from one floor to another. Um, so some of that stuff was like, crap, I can't just cut this and hide this anywhere. I'm gonna have to completely refeed this, put some junction boxes down in the uh, grid ceiling below. And so that's what I started to do. I mounted some boxes in the grid. The, the travelers, uh, I had to cut and actually make joints inside of this thing and pull them out and refeed them, reroute them all the way around this whole doorway. Same thing with the home runs. All, most of the home runs were short, so I ended up having to pull those old home runs out and refeed with new home runs uh, up on the left-hand side of this doorway and then up over the top. Um, there was one home run that I couldn't do anything with. It was just too short, and again, we had a conductor that was like disappearing over a ceiling in another room, and it's like, there's no point in cutting all that sheetrock. If you're fine just putting a junction box up here, then we can do that. And so that's what we decided to do. So after I got everything rerun, uh, everything was re-identified. We put new switches in new locations, new receptacles in new locations. Last thing I had to do was put new devices in. So being that my parents are still living in the house, we I had to make it as safe as possible. So I still wanted to put in all of the devices in every single one of the boxes so they could still live and plug the refrigerator in and still use all the lights and not get shocked. You know, So I definitely put plates over the top of everything as well. Um, but that was that. And so this is the, uh, what it looks like finished. They got a whole bunch of uh, new drywall put up, new paint. Uh, my uncle made a whole set of cabinets like by hand. He does this for a living, he does outstanding work. So all the cabinets that you're seeing right now, all of that is custom work that my uncle did. Uh, the island as well, and they got new countertops put on everything. And I think it looks light years better than it did before. 
Now, there's a couple of things that I probably would have done differently had this been my house. If it was my house, I probably would have just gone ahead and ripped out the ceiling, redone all the can lights because the can lights are just kind of up there where they are. There's not like a, a pattern to them really. They were just using the existing lighting. So I probably would have just sacrificed that whole ceiling. That way I wouldn't have had to put those junction boxes up there. I mean, you're out another like what, four to six pieces of drywall, you know, like sheets of drywall, you're already gonna be mudding and spraying, taping, floating, all of that stuff. So like, I probably would have just done the entire ceiling if it were my house. That way it would have allowed me to go do all of the lighting, how it is laid out with the new layout of the kitchen. So I probably would have redone all the lighting as well uh, in the ceiling. And then I probably would have added some accents, right? Like this is a really nice kitchen now, all these beautiful cabinets. I probably would have put switched uh, under cabinet lighting. That way, you know, like under your upper cabinets, you've got some light that shines down on these nice countertops. I think under cabinet lighting in a kitchen that has like really nice cabinetry just looks amazing. So that's definitely something I probably would have done if it was my house. One more thing, did you know that we have continuing education? Yes, we're approved in a whole bunch of different states. You can go to Electrician U, click on the little bar on the right, go to continuing education, and we have a bunch of different states. We have more states that we're adding, so if you don't see your state, soon enough, I promise we will have it. But it's dope, you just get to watch videos of me doing this, and you get credit for it. So check the link out below, hope to see you in class. So, love you guys, thank you so much. Make sure you hit subscribe, like this video if you liked it, hit the notification bell, lets you know every time we do an episode, and I will talk to you crazy people later. This can't use it and video.